How's it going, guys? And welcome back to BO3's Forgotten, the series where I take a look at underused and not often talked about pieces of gear to determine whether or not they deserve to be remembered within the modern meta of the game or should be left behind and forgotten. And today we are taking a look at the Pat Mark III. If you'd like to farm the Pat for yourself, you're going to want to fast travel over to Castle Crimson within Krieg's Mind, specifically taking the Walls Fast Travel Station. From there, you're going to backtrack down and through this large tunnel, where you'll hit a save station, which is where we'll be resetting from. From there, continue on forward, take a left, and make your way all the way to the edge of the map where you'll find a fleshy pineapple home which Spongeboss will exit from. Kill him and you can get yourself a Pat Mark III. The Pat is a legendary TDR SMG able to come in non-elemental, shock, corrosive, and cryo damage. When fired, it shoots out wiggly bullets, and when chucked, even if you have fired the gun, the weapon magazine of the chucked Pat will be completely refilled and deal the max damage. While this does mean that the chuck should always do the same amount of damage, I did notice it actually got a slight damage increase after I fully emptied the mag. I don't know what caused this, it's not a massive increase in damage, it was just something I noticed. If the pat is instead thrown at a wall or other surface, it will stick to that surface and become a walking turret that will shoot at nearby enemies. This walking turret has a chance to fire a laser beam that will penetrate enemies and explodes on impact. Once the magazine of the turret is empty, it will run towards an enemy and explode on it. The pad has seen a single change, being the overall reload damage nerf that hit all TDR guns. The pad is a bit of a weird one, as I don't really know where it's supposed to fit in among other TDRs. Some TDRs are substantially better at being chucked, and others are substantially better at being shot as a traditional weapon. Of course, this can change with your specific build, however, generally a TDR gun is better at one or the other. The pad does fall into this, and I do find it to be a better chucker, however, it really tries to be a bit of both, and I think it's to its own detriment because it makes the special effect feel really confusing to use. Always chucking a full magazine doesn't specifically help only shooting the weapon or only chucking the weapon. It's only a meaningful effect when both work together. With the pat though, I found that it was one or the other while I was using it. On a build not meant to be shooting guns, it just fell completely fucking flat in the damage department, and on shooting focus builds, the fucking chuck damage was inconsequential at best. However, that being said, it was good at both aspects, just not at the same time. It is a pretty good TDR gun to shoot, it does decent damage, it outputs good DPS, it's totally acceptable, and as a chucking gun, it's honestly not quite top tier, but it's definitely up there, it's better than a lot of other options that are available. Just as long as you're impacting, as the turret mode is just bad, which is weird because it has a unique effect in those lasers, but again, this is another unique effect that just feels like it doesn't need to be here. The chuck damage is how you get the most damage out of the pad. If you miss, you get a turret that kind of just runs around and doesn't really do much, which isn't necessarily bad, but it also isn't necessarily great either. But back to the main point here, because this gun has a special effect that only really does anything when both sides are working together, yet you can't really have both sides work together, this gun is kind of just a purple TDR SMG with better damage than a purple TDR SMG but nothing else really going for it. It does have these gimmicks, but these gimmicks just don't really function with how the gun itself ends up working. However, as I said, the Pat is a far better chucker than it is a shooter. While it does work for shooting, it does start to fall off, especially at True Guardian Takedown, whereas with a TDR build and chucking the Pat, it actually does still hold up at that level. Not only that, but despite seeming as if it's supposed to be good at both, the Pat has an effect in those wiggly bullets that make shooting shooting it feel fucking weird and annoying and frustrating because you'll just sometimes miss shots. It forces you to play at a closer range than a lot of other SMGs have to, so even though the damage is good at a lot of different stages of the game, it kinda just isn't even worth it. In short, the pat tries to reward a player for using both sides of this gun, both shooting it and chucking it. Unfortunately, the line between these two playstyles with the pat just simply isn't thin enough. You really do have to pick a side and it makes it so that the actual functionality of the special effect effect is next to none. I would honestly rate this higher as a chucker if it was just a chucker without trying to be anything else. The always full magazine thing just kind of makes me feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know man, I think this is a chuck gun that just thinks it's more than it is. While it's good at both chucking and shooting, it isn't anything too special at either. Is it bad enough that I think it needs fixing? Absolutely not, it's perfectly usable. Is it good enough that I'd really recommend it over anything else? Also no, not- WAIT I FORGOT IT TALKS! YES USE THE PAT! PAT BEST GUN 2023 PAT ON TALK! Top, baby! 
me. But that's going to about do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Down in the description will be a link to my Twitch channel where I'll be live right after this video goes up. And just below that is a link to my Discord server where you can come and join and hang out. But with that all being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one.